another morning. How's y'all's doing? Zzz, 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 zzz. I'm doing pretty well. I just got off my BNI meeting. We started a little bit later on Tuesdays because my fucking BNI is ridiculous as fuck. Because apparently nobody has anything to do at nine in the morning. It's weird because BNIs are supposed to be like. Oh, I was wondering why it sounded like that. She's just gonna get up in the middle of it. Just gonna yeah. walk away. Just say huh? something. Just gonna walk away, huh? Fill the air. Fill the, Fill the air, air, huh? Yeah. Fill the air, huh? You can do that. Ah! Ah! Um. Yeah. Better than ever. Better than ever. There's something in my eye. Is there? Okay. <laughs> ridiculous. Right, there is something in my eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fucking ridiculous. Um. So. Yeah. Say something. How'd the BNI go? Oh, it, it actually went pretty well. Um, BNIs are supposed to be like early in the morning. Well, they're typically early in the morning, like at seven, and then they wrap up around like eight thirty. Before work. And then you go into work at nine, which is like the concept of it. But my group was like a lunchtime group because, like, for people who wouldn't be available to do it in the morning, the thought process was they could catch all the lunchtime people. Um, so BNI is typically in person. It's since COVID that I'm <coughs> doing stuff virtually. Um, and so the, uh, that's, so now it's all virtual. And um, my group wanted to move from lunchtime to morning, but then the people were not with the early morning. They didn't want to start at, at seven or 7.30 or eight. These seven. are professionals so they landed at 8 30. professionals it's very very strange hence 8 30 is the weirdest time to start it's it's just like the worst it's not even nine yeah it's not like nine like you know when all right when the work day starts it's like before then yeah so it's super weird but i'm leaving anyway um, Ridiculous. They've been getting a lot of new people. Like the group has definitely fattened. So, but you know, so you got more business from one meeting in the other BNI than you did the whole time being in this one. Well, we don't know because, like, look, this woman Nadia Hussey, she invite introduced Hussey. me to the um the big shot um woman who. She has the $90 million listings, and I have that meeting today, so let's see. Who knows? Maybe she'll just give us $90 million. Maybe she will. Um, my calendar, it says I have that meeting at, at 11. Hmm. That's so exciting. So you're all done up today? You going out tonight? Um, and then another one with a person, the driver. No response. Hmm? You going out tonight? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I I I I dress differently because of the meeting. Yeah. You never know where the evening will take you, but I don't have any concrete plans. Sounds shady as fuck. <laughs> it does. I don't know. Do we have any random money coming in? No, right. No. We have fifteen hundred dollars coming in next month. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds That's great. That's good. <laughs> uh, I felt like Kim Kardashian just now. Did you? Yeah. She has this. You need a little bit more plastic for that. <laughs> I can fix that. Yeah. 
Just sit on a few water bottles. Oh um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so today I have those two meetings. I have one with a really rich woman, and then the other one with this other woman. She does like mid-level um, listings, like two, three, four, five million dollars. So that's going to be really, really exciting. <laughs> those are not mid-level. Well, compared to the one with the ninety million and the fifty, I mean, the yeah, 60, but those are ultra like those are like ultra listings. There's not that many of them in the city. Not many ultra. I mean, comparatively to the other stuff. Because most apartments in New York City, even like the shittier parts of New York City, are over a million dollars. <coughs> okay. I um, mean, it's true. Doesn't matter. Okay. I have two meetings today, and um. <laughs> I'm really, really Does excited. Give a fuck about me. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, Relax. You want to know something? Josh Rubin, mm. now his assistant, is not answering. The woman I spoke to yesterday who said, okay, I'll talk to Josh and this and that. I'll get you whatever so you can pick up your art. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Just call her from my number. I'm gonna do that. Oh my god, we should do that right now. Let's do it now. Oh, it's gonna be so funny. What's his phone number? Uh, Fucking ridiculous. Um, 917. 917. 749. 749. Oh, wait, we should. No, no, it's okay. No, I'm just gonna. No, no, no. Tell me the last four digits. <laughs> no. Where is it? It's at the top. Zero nine four one. Why would you do that, Steph? No, now you can't okay. fucking air this. Yeah, I can. Why not? Because I put out a phone number. Fuck you. I can definitely still air this. It's live. Here. I don't like the fish. Hi, good, Josh. Hey, Josh. This is Mark Rankin from Creator. I've been trying to get a hold of you for a while. Hello? Yeah, so the artwork. Um, we ne No, well, I spoke to your, um, your assistant yesterday and she said she would send me an email with who I should put on the COI and I haven't been able to get back in touch with her. Okay, well, I'll have a follow up right now. Yep. Alright, sounds good. Okay. That's it? What am, what am I supposed I don't to do? Know. Scrap Isn't stuff. I'm not gonna do that until we get the word. Isn't there something else you could have said to like make sure like? No, 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 no. It's okay. We have him on camera. Yeah. <laughs> you have to take that last piece of Why? number. Why? Why? You cannot say somebody's number, Steph. I'm pretty sure that's allowed. I don't know. Sue me. I just don't want anything frivolous. Like I don't sue me or I'll sue you. You fuck for stealing our artwork. You sue me. I sue you. You fuck. You Vespa riding fuck. <laughs> um, I'm gonna talk to Joe Daniel about introducing him to Rob Tony, cause Rob Tony is an entertainment lawyer, and um, I think Joe. Like he works with a lot of artists and that's what um, the people who Rob represents. So I think they that could be like a good partnership. Yeah. So I'm gonna intro him. Um, He'd like that. He would definitely like that. Um, but yeah, man, what's the word? Did you talk to him about Clubhouse? Not yet. I've been like checking in on some of the things. It's pretty cool. Yeah, lots of really cool conversations and cool people. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, I like it. Good. So, paid my rent this morning. That's good. <laughs> I gotta. What's pay the date? The twelfth. <laughs> I gotta pay the balance on mine too. The rent? Yeah. You haven't paid the rent. Like, no, I ha I still owe like a one eighty or something. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna give the guy two hundred because like it's my first <laughs> month. Yeah. I was late on my first month. Oh god. At least you gave him something out of money. 
Yeah, I don't think he was very happy. He wasn't? I don't think so. Why? He didn't seem like he cared, but I mean, it's your first month. That's a bad sign. Yeah. If someone is I late mean, but and then like, they gave you part of the money. Yeah, but it's like, oh, they you were late and only gave him part? Yeah. Did you talk to him before? Did you let him know? No, I did. I did speak to him before. Um, I did speak to him. I have a little bit more clout with my landlord. No, this guy's really, really nice. No, he is. That's why you should pay him on time. I know. I know. That's and why I'm gonna give him two hundred. When are you right? gonna give it to him? Right now, as soon as we're done. Here. What about this place? We'll figure that out. I don't have to see this place every day. I see that guy every day. Yeah, but like. I feel like these people are pretty serious. No, too. they're no, just no. I no. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm happy I got the rest of my shit paid. I should text Mark and let him know. Be like, hey, I sent it to you. You should always do that. Right. Yes. Okay. Um. So your blood pressure has gone down. I don't know. Pa yeah, I went to the doctor yesterday, and apparently my blood pressure was like 140. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm gonna pop. Uh, -oh. <laughs> uh yeah. So I got that done. Uh, so we're not paying anything here right now. Of course, we're gonna pay, but just not the whole thing. Like you don't have the whole thing to pay. Okay. Yeah. And how much are you gonna pay? Like three hundred? I don't know. We'll just put in the app. Okay. Whatever we have, we just put in the app. Right. Yeah. Have you been going to the gym? No. I canceled my membership. Why? Because it doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I like classes. Oh. So I'm, on a, I'm, I'm joining a cheerleading team and a volleyball uh, club, two, two club sides. It's going to be fun. When's this? The end of. End of January. Is it free? I think you have to pay like a hundred dollars for the year or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the membership. Yeah. It's always like that. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's really fun. I met some of the people. Oh, you're gonna love the cheerleading stuff. I met I met uh, some like some of the hockey like a hockey side, and the guys are like pretty cool. Please <laughs> link me that. I was because I have uh, hockey stuff. It, I was like, you guys are awesome. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Like ice hockey? Yeah. Yo, hit me up. Because I got my skates already. I was like, this is really cool. I could not play with them because they're like next level. Y you're also small and I assume those guys are pretty big. Oh, yeah. Big. You getting bodied by one of them is yeah. probably not a good sign. But Justin Bieber <laughs> not plays Not good for hockey. your health. Probably with small people. Justin Bieber's a small man. He's a very tiny man. Yeah. He's like, what, 5'6"? I don't know, he's like 5'8". So, yeah. I would be very concerned if you started playing hockey. Unless it was a women's hockey team. Nope, never mind. Because those women are... Yeah. Those are even more aggressive than the dudes. That's wild. Um, yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. I'm very excited to, to, to do this. Where is it? Uh, Chelsea Pier, well, along. It's like in the, on the pier, whatever it's called. Fucking Chelsea Pier. So yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And you yeah. can go whenever, whenever they have the practices or whatever. Yeah. So like once a week. I don't really know the the specifics. I just like met a couple of the guys from from one of the teams, and they were like really really nice, and they're like, oh, you should come. And I was like, I should come as in I should come and play, and they're like, probably not. Like, for what? Not. For what sport? Hockey, ice hockey. Oh yeah, no, don't. They're like probably not. You can't. But no. You should come. You know, like there's tons of people hanging out in the stands, just like watching us and playing, and and, I, and you know we'll, we'll go out after. It's like, okay, I'm a little insulted. No, you should not but play. Okay. <laughs> it's not that's like you exactly know how to ice. Like, he's like, you should not you play. Should not. Look at you. you <laughs> it's like he's like, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Like, yeah, just it's, it's not right. an insult, but it's just right. don't do it. Just no, that's not you know. But the volleyball, the cheerleading, I think you're gonna like. 
Yeah, I'm very excited to like really learn how to tumble right. You like the dancing and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't care about that. I just want to learn how to do like cool backflips and like the like the I the guy goes, oh, we can um have you as a novice um uh, novice base, and I go, what about a flyer? No. He's like, you have no experience yeah. plus you're five six. I was like, what does that mean? He's like, you're, you're too, too big. Yeah. Too big. Like, I've never heard that in my life. You weigh too much. I'm too big. Because they gotta throw you in the air and shit. They can throw me. I've been thrown. Not by women. Or like there even the even the, the dudes. The dudes that are there are not like big 200 pound dudes. They are. Really? Yeah. Usually the cheerleaders I see are like cut. They're not big. Did you not see the guy who the, the guy who held the girl with her foot like this? That's not. Sh- I think he, that's like a party trick they learned how to do. No, they're cheerleaders. Yeah, but he's not huge. He's like one ninety five. That's pretty big. It's uh, not. I wouldn't say massive. Like he's not. But like I, but that yeah. girl's probably like a hundred and ten pounds, maybe a hundred pounds. I want a good acro yoga partner. I really like acro yoga. It's really really nice. Like I, yeah. I I feel like that's gonna. That's a part of my goal joining this club too. That's not really my vibe. The Akaryoga stuff is a little boring. It's cool, but it's not, it's not like fun. Yeah. It's not my kind of fun. Yeah. The hockey stuff sounds pretty fun. I, I don't, I wasn't really, I never played like team sports. I played volleyball, which is why I'm fairly good at it. I'm a little rusty, you know, but I'm still pretty good. Like having only played like five times in the last two years on the beach. Like, I didn't warm up or anything. I was like, it's pretty all right. Serving some mean serves there. Were you there that night when I fucking did, by myself, served like 10 serves to catch up? Every time you tell that story, the number doubles. I don't remember how many it was. You were there, though. Um, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, fucking killed it. Because I'm amazing at everything I do. <laughs> um, I... Oh my god. What? No. No. Someone canceled? Yes. Who? The big woman. The Why? The million dollar woman. She's like, hi Mark, my apologies, but can we reschedule today's call for Friday or beginning of next week? I have a last minute client situation I need to deal with around the time we were supposed to chat. <laughs> we need something, Mark. God damn it. Uh, Alright, so let me send her about my schedule and have her choose another time. This is bullshit. (laughs) This is fucking bullshit. (laughs) I'm fucking dead. I would really like, I need to do this thing that I want to do. Because you're joining this club, right? When are we going to, are we going to go out and do the thing, the driving or whatever? What driving? Oh. What? I, they haven't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I need Maybe some fucking dough. Like, try caviar or something. Caviar takes months to get on. And none of these platforms are accepting drivers right now. Because everyone's doing it with COVID. Anyway. Sick. Um, yeah, so that's super fun. Yeah. I'm so broke as shit. I really, like, I need to get a gym membership. I want to do the rock climb. I really want to do it. Obviously, I can't right now because <laughs> it's kind of expensive. Okay. But it's like a hundred dollars a month or ninety-five a month. Luckily, because of COVID, they have they canceled all of their uh, they got rid of all their like sign-up fees. 
Okay. So it's just a hundred dollars, and it's month to month. There's no commitment. Oh, that's great. Yeah, but I only have three hundred and seventy dollars right now, and we need to pay rent here. So fuck me this week at least. You gotta pay your rent too. What is it? One eighty remaining. Two hundred. Two hundred. So how much money? Well, two hundred, and then you have four hundred, right? How much comes in? I didn't even check. Four fifty. Yeah. So if I if I pay two hundred to this guy, how so would you're I gonna have? No, no. I'm saying, what do you have now? Four hundred or four fifty? That's not bad. Okay. So you're gonna have two hundred left, and then that's what you need for food for the week. So I'll put a hundred in the business, and then well. No, I don't think you I should do a, that. I have a Oh my god. Uh, what deal would I need to pay? Shit. Today's what, the 12th? I have to pay my uh, my credit card bill soon, too. I have 492. 492? Mm -hmm. So that's not bad. I think you should save 200, keep 200 in your account. Maybe I'll put 50 and then keep 150 because there are a bunch of deals that are going to hit us this week. Kind of suck. Yeah. What are we doing to get, like, are we on, do we have any smaller jobs? Like, or with, uh, what's his name with Ari? Well, this one, um, this woman for later today at one o'clock, not the big woman, but the other woman, she, mm -hmm. she has some like imminent stuff. Plus, there's a guy, oh yeah, it's not yet time. There's a guy I'm reaching out to at the end of the month. He has a listing. He was like, I want you to come take a look at it, but let's talk first, blah, blah, blah. So um, that's happening at the end of the week. Um, plus I have another guy um, who he has uh, some smaller apartments that he wants photo and vid for, and he would like pay right away. So when is this? tomorrow so that's pretty exciting um, plus we gotta go get this art from from Josh so that's good too another flocker um, so today I am following up with some smaller jobs I'm, I'm kind of focused in on the smaller ones mm. because we need some money like right now which is cool um, so I'm gonna follow up with that talk to Sam I, I messaged him but he didn't he didn't text me back I don't know it's, it's weird because he always texts me back he always he texts me sometimes like randomly like mm. hey what's up yeah, I don't know I have to message him and Sasha I did text Sasha too and I didn't hear back from him. So both of those guys are like smaller like rental agents who we have a relationship with. And so I ping them every now and then and they always say, oh yeah, we have a job, this and that, and they'll bring us in. Um, but I messaged them like right before Christmas. And I didn't hear back. No, I, th I think it was after New Year's, like when we got back to work. I don't know, I have to find out. So today I'm very, very focused on um, listings under a million dollars. I'm reaching out to those agents because they typically have a lot of volume, um, you know, low ticket, high volume agents. And so I'm reaching out to them to see what they got going on. So that's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. What I'm doing. So this is a painting by Liz Greenman. Um, I wanted to show off the durability of them. <laughs> yeah, great painting, great artist. Um, so, where are we at? What am I doing? What am I doing? What I'm doing, I'm pulling the Gary Vee approach. 
which is I I was doing some research on Reddit and with Twitter and all that. So Gary was saying just fucking engage in the community and talk to people and this and that. So I've been doing that every day um, since yesterday. It's weird because with Reddit, there's like time frames. You can't like post one after another in one group. You have to like wait certain time periods. It's kind of annoying. But anyways, Twitter and um, Twitter and Reddit. That's where I'm at right now. And then today I'm going to, I was reading a bunch about Instagram and, and what to do there and, and how to grow the audience faster, um, especially now because organic growth is a little bit harder. So just kind of getting the cohesion of the brand right, optimizing the page, getting that all ready to go. And then that's about it for now. Just small steps. I, I've changed from saying I'm working on social media to like specific platforms. But what are you doing today? Exactly that. I'm going to be continuing to reach out to people and engage in the communities on Reddit and on Twitter. Um, and I'm going to optimize the two different Instagram accounts as well as start posting to the creator's production creator productions page what does it mean you're going to optimize your i'm going to get uh the story page like the stories the highlights and all that i'm going to make the artwork like the little covers for them um i'm going to take the vlogs that we have and i'm going to post them to the creators like in the highlight thing so you can see that and then a few of the vlogs as actual posts mm. um we don't really have photos as for the creators. I don't really know what to post for photos. Don't know what to do there because it's, it's all video. video it's right? all video, yeah. Um, I guess we can like I was saying we can kind of mix in some of the other stuff like the BTS stuff or whatever from yeah. the other things to like kind of bring it together. But that's kind of where we're at. And then obviously clips from this show. Um, yeah, and then I'm also going to. I'm gonna find. I need to find a, an object somewhere in here but I'm go I started kind of doing it last night or yesterday I'm going to do a little bit of um, practice shooting today I'm going to um, do a little bit of product photography Sick. so so I have a different like I, I want to get that portfolio looking a little bit different on the creative productions page on the website yeah so I'm gonna do some product photography here in the studio, um, kind of get that up to scruff. The snuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Sick. Get that ironed out. I went to the doctor yesterday. They took a lot of blood, like eight vials of really? blood. Yeah. Um, the doctor was very thorough. Also very awkward. Like she looked like she just graduated from, from med school, <laughs> became a doctor. She was super nervous. Um, it was very strange, but she was fine. She was very thorough. She was good. She asked you all the questions. All of the questions. So many of the questions. And then she gave me things. She's like, uh, she's like, oh yeah, like we won't have to do a colonoscopy or anything. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm not in my fifties. She went through everything, like prostate exams, ca other cancer things, other cancer screenings. I'm like, yeah, I'm 20 years old. I know I don't need to do these things yet. I'm like, I was a little confused on why she, why she kept saying that. And then she was like giving me medical background too. She's like, yeah, we're looking maybe like now, like our younger people are developing cancer earlier in their colon, so it might change, but it hasn't changed yet. So you're still for your 50s. I'm like, just stop talking. <laughs> like, I want to go home. It took a while. That was a pretty long doctor's visit yeah. for what it was. Yeah. The nurse took my blood, and then I went home. I was fucking starving. I thought I was going to pass out. They took so much blood, and I'd, I'd only eaten breakfast. Yeah. I don't mind having my blood taken. I don't care. I just didn't. I was like mad. I was super hungry, though. That was what the problem yeah. was. The nurse gave me some juice and I drank it on like one sip. And she's like, oh, someone's hungry. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 I am. Yeah, they'll tell me if I have uh, AIDS. 
No. And all the other stuff. And all the other stuff. Yeah. I'm pretty excited for today. I'm. I wish this meeting wasn't canceled, but you know. Uh, kind of how the cookie crumbles. So what are we gonna do in the next eighteen days? Same thing that we're doing right now. We gotta. We have to like catch up on rent here. By the end of that. We will. I don't. I'm not. Like, I don't want to go two months over. Why would we be two months over? What? Why would we be two months? Because right now we already owe a month. We don't owe a month. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we owe this month. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll clear that up. Steph, we have... Uh, look. Both of our rents are now paid. For this month. And... Did you send them the money? No. Both of our rents are now paid. Mm -hmm. And then we have next Tuesday, then the Tuesday after that, then the Tuesday right after that. That's three... That's three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So we will come current, and then we can start focusing on paying off our debts. Okay. I just want to make sure. But you already know this. Well, I don't know because we don't have any like imminent jobs coming in. We d we don't have like any jobs scheduled. That's why I'm just want to see like if there's anything more or like anything like that. The yeah. I would say we're 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 gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Um and you should go to H and R block and get that six hundred dollars. Should I? <laughs> you said I thought you had already decided that you're gonna do it. I scheduled it for today. I don't know if there if I should go though. Why? I should go, right? I don't even know what you're saying. You're like very confusing and confusing me. No, I, I just, I, I, I don't know if I need any other documents or anything. Because the only uh, money I made was the shit from, from Uber. The other stuff doesn't count basically because it's like no money at all. And then, um, Yeah, but I can't, the tax form isn't out for 2020. Oh, yeah. It's only 2019. The, uh, uh, okay. Well, just call them and ask. It's an R block? Yeah. Okay. Our tax prep place, go see a house or something, just call them and ask. And the tax prep place is like, they stay open forever. Like, they stay until like 7 or 8 o'clock at night. I'm just going to go to Nation Art Block because it's 70 bucks. Okay. No? I don't, I've, I've never done it like that, but that's fine. What have you done? I always go to the tax prep people. Tax prep people? Is it just anybody who's local? Yeah, they're like literally every, on every block. Like tax preparers and they sit there and they, you bring in your documents and they put in the number right there and then they tell you exactly what you're going to get. Mm. Yeah. But H and R Black, if it's seventy bucks, then you go with that. Yeah. Yeah. You pay the money up front. You have the money. Mhm. Mm so do it. I give my call and see what I need. Yeah. All right. All right. You gotta file sleep? business taxes too. That's not That's for April. Right. Yeah. Well, it's not because you're supposed to file every quarter. You're not. No. You can. You can choose to file every quarter, or you can file at the end of the financial year. And. The deadline for that is April 15th. Okay. So, we have nothing to gain from this, so I'm not in a rush. All right. That's all I have to do. Right. I gotta get that money, because if they also send out the second check, I want my actual information to be on file. Yeah, definitely. My tax, my uh, direct deposit info. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Any last words? Let's get to work. Nope. Don't get lost in the sauce. Don't get lost in the sauce. I love you. And I love you. Be kind.